It's up to us. Our pets can't brush their own teeth. Bad breath is one of the earliest signs of dental disease. Bad breath tells us bad bacteria have taken over the mouth. Plaque and tartar is the home base for the bad bacteria. It forms the framework in which they grow, and the bacteria are actually part of the matrix of the tartar. Eventually, plaque and tartar, along with the bad bacteria haunting the mouth, lead to gum disease. Once we have gum disease, we have systemic infection. Left untreated gum disease can affect the heart, the kidneys, and other internal organs. Once your pet is under anesthesia, a complete examination of the mouth is undertaken, including probing of the periodontal pockets. Probing and measuring dental pockets is the most critical part of the examination. In this example, you see a cat's canine tooth probe. This tooth is very diseased as you see the probe sliding deep under the gum, indicating the tooth is beyond saving and will have to be removed. After a complete examination, tartar is removed from the teeth and from under the gums using ultrasonic scaling. Removing the tartar from under the gums is critical to achieving a good, a good outcome. If the tartar is removed from under the gums early in the disease process, the gums can return to a normal state. Polishing creates a wider smile, but its main purpose is to create an extremely smooth surface that is difficult for bacteria and debris to adhere to. Fluoride treatment is the final step in the cleaning procedure. It makes the teeth more resistant to acid attacks by plaque bacteria and sugars in the mouth. Bad breath is the earliest sign of dental and gum problems. If your pet has bad breath, they should see a veterinarian. Early diagnosis and treatment can save teeth and alleviate pain. In our next video, we will show how home care can prevent or delay the need for aggressive dental treatment at the veterinarian's office. We will discuss how to prevent dental disease and how to brush your pet's teeth.